Education, is that what you want? What do you want? <laughs> We're here to show solidarity really across the country for firefighters nationwide who are facing these unlawful and unconstitutional mandates. We believe it's our duty as first responders to stand up for the regular citizens, the regular workers, everybody, and stand in the way of tyranny. Um, we signed up for that job to stand in the way of dangers and to save people from danger and to save victims from the victimizers. And uh, right now our nation is being victimized uh, by the tyrants that are in office that are forcing these mandates upon us and nationwide. So we're down here at the uh, In the Mandates uh, rally. There's going to be a lot of good speakers down here. We're here with Firefighters for Freedom. We're here with... Uh, the DC boys are here, guys from North Florida, FDNY, Graves for Choice, and really again just showing our solidarity and our brotherhood and supporting each other. Uh, this is a this really is a, a nation and global calling for everyone to get involved and to fight for our freedoms. That's really what this is all about: is our freedom to choose and then removing our freedoms. Um, it's a really simple battle, and we're here doing it, and we're here uh, promoting it. founder of Airline Employees with Health Freedom. I'm a captain for United Airlines. All right, and can you tell us what you're doing here today? Right, we are standing up against the mandates. Our 2,000 employees have taken a stand against our employer for their Title VII rights under the ADA and for their faith. So we are here. Can you tell us a little bit about how the mandates have affected you? Me personally, I am out on unpaid leave. I am prohibited from getting another job. I'm prohibited from accessing my 401k. I have no medical benefits, and I'm leading the charge in this fight, so my days are consumed. President Joe Biden's in the White House right over there. If you could tell him anything about this mandate and what's going on in your battle, what would you say? I would say it doesn't matter what party you're with. You need to stand up for what the Constitution says, our liberty and our rights. Our founding fathers left England because they wanted to be able to pray to the God of their choice. Our laws come from our, our God, not from man. And it is time that you stand up and restore the Constitution to the United States. We're here to rise above that. And I also want you to know, uh, spoiler alert, freedom wins. St. Augustine, the doctor of the Roman Catholic Church, famously said, the truth is like a lion. You don't have to defend it. Let it loose, it will defend itself. <laughs> 